Hello, good evening, Chuo Impala. Uh, Elias Moshe here. Now, I did uh, I did see that um, we 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 are going to have a small a small little chat. <laughs> Today is, a, is is pretty busy, and so we can't have the the usual long long discussion. It's crazy out here, but but because I like chatting with you, I thought let's just have a very uh, quick quick chat, and then and then I can answer a few questions because um, the day is is very long a time, right? So. If you're joining us from all the platforms, just share, and then I'll be I'll be reading the comments and I'm going to 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 answer uh, some of the questions that you may have. Um, we have a lot to 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 answer here. I just updated my my profile, my profile, my status, and this is what I said. <laughs> so I'm I'm dealing with. What I'm calling the five the five rules the, it's, uh, the five rules from Cho and Pala. So so the first one is the first one is do not antagonize your base. Uh, that's the first one. Do not antagonize your base. What do you think about that? The second one is I think I'm just going to copy and paste it. All right, let's see. Do not. All right, so so th these these are the rules. Number one, um, do not antagonize your base. Rule number two, work from the visible people first, and then deal with the invisible later. So you're almost like dealing with uh, the first, and then you deal with the invisible. Rule number three, do not let the troops second guess your past lieutenants. <laughs> This one is funny. Uh, do not let the troops second guess your past lieutenants. Rule number four, when in doubt, appoint and disappoint first and clean up later. Rule number five, in politics, feelings come first, the stomach second, and data comes last. Uh, that's that's very important in that order, okay? So, so, um, so, so those are a few uh, things that, that, that I've shared about about the five rules from the Chuempala plan. I, I think the Chuempala plan has so many things. It has rules, it has it has it is a fully fledged uh, plan. Number it, it it we just release a few points here and there, you know. <laughs> I believe by one year or two our Chuempala plan will be a full manifesto so that uh, you can you can have a look at them. Okay. Um <laughs> So what are the questions? Let's go to the questions. I'm going to prioritize YouTube now because because you people that follow us on YouTube, you think that we don't pay much attention to you. So I'm going to prioritize uh, YouTube questions today. Uh, so so um, Regan says waiting, Vamunsha. All right, uh, Regan, we're going to to look at that later. Um, all right. So so if you are Nat Natalie Kangwa says the uh, Chuempala plan, plan number five is, is interesting. Yes. <laughs> plan number five is interesting. What does it say? Uh, plan number five says, in politics, feelings come first, the stomach second, and data comes last. <laughs> okay. So, so, so feelings, much of politics is actually, is, is actually feelings. So you, you begin exploiting how people feel because if people feel something about you, even if they are hungry, they are likely to support you. You know, of course, there is a limit to that, but feelings are very important. That's why you you manage you manage feelings. So you don't just say, ah, this is not supported by data. That's not enough. Uh, but you've got to be a very good manager of feelings. Very very important because they come first, the stomach second, and then data comes last. And so you can't use data to show. Uh, to shove it around with people. For example, if if people's perception is that uh, money was stolen at the Ministry of Health, so you don't just rely on data to say, ah, according to the data, this is not it. No, no, no. People have have, have strong feelings about it. They feel a certain way. Uh, so what do you do? 
you've got to 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 manage that so so that that's that's a neat uh natalie natalie kangwa all right okay um so i can see that we are still going to wait for more comments from youtube but if you are on youtube please do so because today is your day and i want to prioritize your comments okay otherwise we are, we are going to go back to our usual facebook um, uh, comments so that we can we can pick the comments from there all right okay um so what are the what are the other questions and and comments let's see <laughs> all right so we go back to to facebook uh, watching from lusaka send the links uh, today uh, today we're not going to send the link because we have very limited time i have like 30 minutes uh, so i just said in these 30 minutes let me let me chat right uh, are you a politician or non-partisan i don't know what do you think <laughs> Will that what, what does that do? Does that change your perception of what I do? Uh, do you think I'm a politician? How many think that I'm a politician? I don't know. Um, is it every day we use? <laughs> no, it's not every day. So what you do is on a day that you can't, you just avoid watching. But but these are pre-recorded and then they are posted on the on the page. So when you have bundles, you can always go back to listen because these are very important commentaries. Uh, to Jiburongo. Chichi says wonderful. Where is General? General General is still around. He's still in Zambia. And so he's going to join us very soon. We miss him. I miss him. And 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 today we are also missing our regular uh fellow hosts and contributors because of that timing. Right? Yeah. And then of course these these are the rules that uh that I just posted. Okay. Um yeah. Uh, why is Bali too slow to change the government systems? Um, I don't think I don't think you can change the government systems very very quickly. Um, so so my issue is not really with um, uh, my issue is not really uh, uh, with regards to the change of, uh, of 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 government system, right? Because that one is going to take long. My issue really is with the fact that we need personnel in place as soon as possible. Uh, that is a major issue, that we have personnel in place as soon as possible um, because the, the, the substantive change of the government structure is going to take months, if not years, for, for that to be implemented. But you can't wait to implement that by waiting on, on your own personnel. So that was my argument even yesterday. Get the team at State House going. And, and I don't know whether what we said yesterday helped with having uh, several people appointed today. And, uh, and they're, they're, they're very good people. Like now, State House has, has a permanent secretary, uh, meaning a chief of staff who t takes care of everything at State House. Uh, now we have a COVID-19 relief advisor. We have um, an economic and, and national development advisor, Ajito uh, Kayumba, a uh, great guy. And, and, and we have the, the, the advisor for policy implementation, special advisor for policy implementation, right? Which is, which is pretty good. And then we have the principal private secretary, Bradford Magela, which is, which is pretty good. So that was my argument yesterday. You can't be in an administration three weeks in and the team at State House is still just four, all right? That was my argument. So I'm very glad that today there was that swearing in of the five or is it seven team? That's pretty good. So as they're planning to go to fly to New York and Washington, I'm very happy that that team is complete. It is too late, nevertheless, right? Um, three weeks in, that team should have been there on day one. Like immediately you are being given the... the, the um, <laughs> the symbols of power, whatever you are calling them, the instruments of power, Nishi, that team is already in place. But anyway, we wish them all the best. They are good guys. And uh, and so that was, that was. But Moshe, is it true that UPND was not ready to win this election? I don't think so. If you've chatted with UPND guys, they are pretty solid, eh? Um, I've had the privilege to, to, to meet UPND guys, extremely solid people. 
like even general general Chipakupak, when you talk to him pretty solid he he, he says solid things about cooperatives about agriculture even when we were uh bringing uh candidates uh, last month very solid people so so was the upnd not ready i don't think so they were quite ready very solid just a few days ago we were chatting with uh, with the mp honorable hudson mabeta uh, mp for kankoyo you get his story you get what he's saying and you know that this party does have very solid guys um so so i think i think they were they were prepared they were ready uh the few things that we've noticed in the first three weeks are matters that that needed attention and we needed to speak out very early so that we do not derail the revolution otherwise if we ignore it and say that it's okay uh, no something something might go terribly wrong uh, so so in fact the president himself did say that um all of us are like a fish ego we are watching and so tv bakwetu is going to continue being that fish ego that watches and and we are going to 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 react in real time in good time and on time um we are not going to behave like sean zero because sean zero is a tribalist is a uh is a, is a, you know but but we are definitely going to hold uh the government to account and we are going to speak our view and our opinion about these things right um so so my opinion still remains the same uh it has take, it had taken too long to to beef up the stuff at state house that left a lot of vulnerabilities and it's been corrected quite all right and so we we expect that several other positions that state house are going to be filled but i'm glad that at least stuff has taken has taken shape <laughs> are rules from general no those are rules from me um on bradford was it necessary um yes the the only surprise is it has taken very long for bradford marginal to be confirmed um i think he had he, he was playing that role which was pretty good but it, i think it had taken too long um everybody everybody knew that mr marginal did have the confidence of our president uh, very early he had he had the confidence of the president very early and so and so from our perspective i'm here and i'm like do something right appoint him quickly let him take the oath so that we are satisfied that our president is entitled to people that first of all he has confidence in very important but secondly that they have taken the oath there are two kinds of oath that you take the pledge of allegiance and the oath of office the oath of office is I'm assuming this office and I'll do, I'll diligently, blah, blah, blah. The Pledge of Allegiance, the Pledge of Allegiance, the Oath of Allegiance is, I have an allegiance to the president and to the constitution of our republic. So, so that was where the issue was, I think. But it was expected that Mr. Bradford Magilai is going to have uh, this role, if not that he was already playing it without, without confirmation. Good guy. And, and I'm very satisfied with... Um, uh with with the team of course concerns about gender are there concerns about youth they are there but those are those are concerns that we can continue uh talking about um a general is there he'll be in soon <laughs> you're very nice mood today nish myron shadi we know eh Mairo yari kakana mairo ai yeah eh mwandi mairo yari kakana mairo um but but i'm glad that certain things have been taken care of today again our commitment is our to is 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 to our republic and it's very easy to lose way right um kutumuren that you it's very early do not begin talking mokata mpeko kulanda after one year but you know the first three weeks the first day second day they're very important because they set the tone because that to land in Oshita mukatweba tio mkwai tamule mwatampo kulanda after one year because you've been you've not been given any position so so we need to start early so that um, so that uh, nothing is so that there are no expectations the only expectation that tv bakwetu has is to 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 speak to the people of zambia and to explain to them if it is tika right the upnd government has its own spokespeople it has its own structure and so they are doing a good job ours here is to critically look 
and watch like that fish eagle uh, example that the president used. Yeah. So so better mode. Are you po are you positioning yourself for the better future, um, Chilia? Sorry, I think I'm losing the comments here. Already they've started flooding. Um, uh, what is your take to see people who struggled for the party being left out? Um, now, I don't think they've been left out. I think government is too big. And so, and so those people who struggled for the party and, and get the confidence of the president are going to be very well positioned. I have no doubt about that, okay? Um, they're going to, uh, because, and, and, and the UPND should not even apologize about that. Uh, the, the UPND was a party in opposition for many years. The last thing that I would like to see is the UPND supporters begin living a life, you know, like begging or apologizing or something like that. There is nothing wrong with being a UPND member. And so to the extent that the new dawn might be giving the impression as if being a political cadre is bad. Um, I think that is a very wrong, uh, that, is a, that is a misconception. Um, I don't think there is need to feel like that here. Um, it's okay to belong to the UPND. And so I have no doubt that those who played major roles are going to be recognized and they are going to be to serve their country. Uh, they need to put their names up. They need to be forthright and very clear that they desire to serve their country. My only concern is about managing perceptions, okay? That is very huge. Now, I'm going to drop some names here today because, because it's time, okay? So let me drop the, the names. Um, I've been extremely independent. I don't, nobody can come and try to change my mind. That's not how I operate, right? And so what we are doing now is something that we've been doing for years, okay? Um, those of you that have followed me now, even before we established and rebranded as TV Bakwetu, um, my lives, you know, <laughs> because we branded as TV Bakwetu very recently, um, but I kept, I've been coming live since 2017. Before Before Shina got that. So from 2017, 2016 to date, um, one of the things we did, and and now sometimes, if it's Tikatiakwati, sometimes we overestimate our role in history. Okay, so so there is very likelihood that I may be overstating my own role in history. Now now bear with me because because sometimes Kulaba uh, watch that overestimate now. Uh, one of the things when we were noticing that the UPND was seriously getting, you know, um, uh, getting popular and, and, and becoming an alternative government. Uh, sometime last year, for those that have followed me, you will agree that we provided a suggestion to the UPND right on this, right? It wasn't TV Bakwet, it was something else. It was just my regular things. And my suggestion was the UPND was appearing to be quite closed up, right? That was the perception. It looked like positions were already taken. It was a closed shop. And we suggested, open it up. Don't give this impression that it's a full bus. Open it up. And by opening it up, open up with Utupoto. That's exactly what we said. I said, um, and I, I, I highlighted several UPND operatives. This is what I said. I said, Anthony Walia. By then, Anthony Walia was just a member of the UPND, freely defending the party and very good at media, very good, very personal, personable guy. Right here, I said, that if the UPND wants to open up, it needs to begin giving the impression that it is not yet full in the party. And it's not yet full in the party even if the party to port for in fiaka port move up here you see and i specifically mentioned jbd anthony warrior and now you know move it now now as history or coincidence may happen i then visited community house not under to a paper 
And then a few weeks afterwards, Wiza Sangat actually, Mubita now, and Anthony Wali have been given positions in the president's office. I was surprised, Shai Shibi, with a, a Kalido chat that we did here had an influence. Um, and so and so and so these are people that 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 the party opens up, brings them in. You don't know the kind of fights that, that are involved in a party opening up like that and the president opening up like that and bringing these two fresh new guys inside the inner circle. And then that, I think, breaks begins breaking the mode of the UPND to be much more uh, open, basically open. Right. Um, uh, that's very important. You open up, you show that the, the competition between the UPND and the PF at that time was that the PF was open. <laughs> In PF, that's what used to happen. And so UPND lent and they started opening up and these two very important guys uh, joined the team and, and so this is what we are perceiving. Now, after they form government, um, because the public is already perceiving that these are very influential lieutenants, you don't leave the public to second guess your past lieutenants. You don't do that. So, so after the transfer of the instruments of power, Anthony Walia had no position. <laughs> uh, Movita Nawa to date has no position, okay? Now, that is an anomaly. The reason why that is an anomaly is it creates, it leaves you vulnerable and, and it leaves you to suspicion. That's why. Um, I want to know, of course, after, after several fights, you, some of you think that we are just existing, but we are documenting history as we are going. We are going to look back on this. If the UPND, for example, wins in 2026, we are going to look back to this. If it struggles, we are going to look back to, to these moments. Um, when, 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 you, when, when the new administration takes over, what, what happens? You begin a lot of explanations. Now, when you begin doing a lot of explanations, just know that there is something that, that, that is wrong here. There is a disconnect. You, you don't do that. You try to avoid that as much as possible. So, 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 Anthony Walia, presidential spokesperson for the UPND. Um, however, he does not immediately transfer into State House. Okay. What happens next? A statement from the UPND Secretary General. And Anthony Wadi responds and says it's fake news. The UPND Secretary General writes and says that because there is no spokesperson at State House, I made a mistake or something like that. Are you seeing that how that history is playing? Um, that should have been avoided right from the start. But we got where we are. Until now, finally, Anthony Wadi gets um, uh, confirmed and gets sewn in. That closes. Now, have you seen? That has closed. There is no vulnerability there. However, now the reason why I want to talk about Movita now. Um, <laughs> now, these two gentlemen, I want you to know that they, they, they're not, they not my friends. They're not close friends. And, and, you know, I just know them just like the way you do. However, the issue of Movita now, once it transfers, it is, it is, miscalculation to leave Mubita Nawa hanging without a government position three weeks into an administration. It's, it's a miscalculation. No, but nobody can send me to say anything, you know? So, so Mubita Nawa cannot send me. I've, I've not even spoken to him. I don't even know who he is. But it's a serious miscalculation. The reason is this guy is a past lieutenant. If he's a past lieutenant, it, the public, the UBND operatives expect Mubita Nawa to transfer into government. If he does not immediately transfer into government, you expose your political party, you expose yourselves 
to innuendos, suspicions, something that, you, you, in other words, you create more things to talk about. Something that detracts from your agenda. Okay. That's the first reason. The second reason is this was a fight. This was um, an election of tremendous sacrifice, tremendous personal sacrifice. People were being beaten. People were being abused by the previous regime. Uh, so they sacrificed a lot. Now, because they did that, they paid a price. When you transfer and form government, you have got to find an explanation for some of the things that are going to happen. Now, I know, will a position come for him? It's likely to come at a later stage, but three weeks is too long. It is way too long. So this gentleman who was beaten and imprisoned is now looking on the outside and looking into this government. And the very people who imprisoned him, beat him up and, and made him suffer with the principal are now in government and is looking out from outside. No, <laughs> no, you don't do that. And then now, the former ruling party, they are now mocking him. Go, 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 go and see what, what, what they are writing. Oh, you acquire what is happening. That creates a problem. It creates a, 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 a crack. You don't make these mistakes. You don't just do them. If you cannot work with this gentleman closely at State House, this is what you do. You instruct Simon uh, Mitty, give a position to this gentleman. I'm not yet clear what position you are going to give him, but let it be, be very clear that he is in government. Find a name of a position like um, ambassador designate uh, extraordinary. <laughs> you know? Ambassador designate extraordinary. And then we are still vetting him. Okay, go and leave. So that he begins um, um, uh, relating with the public from a governmental perspective. So that those people that are coming to insult him, those people that are coming to rub salt in the injury, they are put to shame. Because he's already in the system. Okay, but you are welcome. You are in government. You are part of us. Okay? But you are part, you are part, you are part of it. You avoid cracks. You seal it. Okay? Now, it's not just about Mubita, it's several other people who paid that price. If they are visible, you first of all work with them. You begin with the visible guys, because the visible guys are the interface with the public. They are the ones that are asking questions. They're the ones whose questions are being asked. What is happening? Those are the people that you wang wangu, you sort them. And then you go back to the invisible people that you worked with. The U we are not naive. The UPND worked with some invisible operatives, whatever it is. But then that's when now you begin attending to the invisible people. But you cannot leave the visible guys vulnerable. Three weeks into an administration. <laughs> no. Because when you do that, you expose cracks. And you say, it's not very important that very huge positions that they have. No, no, no. This guy sacrificed for 15 years, beaten, imprisoned, and everything else. What you do is wangu wangu, tauko kwe, they yo. Nga wako kola three weeks, but ya wantu. They are vetting. Vetting? Who is vetting? <laughs> they are being vetted. Security clearance. No. So, so 
um, so, so that is that is what it is, right? Um, a government is very big. <laughs> it's extremely big. Eh? So, so, so the issue is patience, but the problem is if you are saying patience and yet that patience leads you to cracks to expose yourselves as a political organization, you, you, you have a problem. In Oshita, what you need to be dealing with are some other bigger, bigger issues. You do not begin dealing with all these little, little cracks. Now, it's too early to leave vulnerabilities like this. Kupangana official, at your secretary, Watumana secretary to cabinet, Alechita announced, Mobita Nawa is Akapoto. Uyuna unkwe akapoto. Uyuna unkwe shanshani. Wangu wangu watch the see you. Ego teka. Watch the see you. Watch the see you. Watch the see you. Utuma leakages. These are excellent men. I'm not saying that they are not sealed. What I'm saying is, imwe as a political organization. Watch the see you. We know. We know. Because, alawe ni haba. Emu muka chita depend upon. Emma food soldiers venu. They are the ones that you are going to depend upon. Later. So what do you do? There is nothing wrong with UPNT operative saving in government. Absolutely nothing wrong. Ganaba kwa totu wafia. Bapere ni utupoto. Erono mba muye mchita sovu tu wafia. Da iwe. Gakulika report. Aga kuredi break. Okay. Tora ka sovak. Because that's exactly what is happening. Pa no no. Okay. So, so in them, in them, land in a coffee. In it because I'm too anti, you know. Because if it's a job that I want, who will feel patient? I mean, if I was patient, you know, I'm sure <laughs> something can come out. No, in them, they land in a coffee. I want to talk about this revolution is not overtaken by 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 the same Kelenkas. <laughs> Barossel and agreement, I don't know. Uh, number four is dangerous. Sometimes can't be cleaned later. Um, oh, no. But, uh, what I meant was, uh, did I really know that they can, um, Minister of Health, Permanent Secretaries, you fire them. You don't wait. At you because of the budget. No, the budget, they to choose it, eh? Abantu wa baipe, abantu, na lelo, they are still there. Noku yunfu bale yunfu and even threatening people. Kuba tamfia. Elonga wasango kuba tu walufia nye mkuba tamfia. You clean it up, epe la. If you kuba tiyo mkwa, it's because of the budget or anything like that. No. If, can we feta tuishi ibe? Minister of Health, why should the same directors be there today? Three weeks into, into an administration. Anso kutafia wangu. Because nga wako kola mwaikala nabo, wako shinga bata, chapwa. <laughs> Na mumfo, at, at now the, the secretary to cabinet, awe never meet, and the vice president have now been assigned na parents to clean up something. How can Simon Miti get the vision of the new administration? If my, our expectations is that he's on his way out, now, how, how is he getting new assignments to superintend over the new program of the UPND government? <laughs> and that's what I mean by number four. This incessant, uh, at your the incessant thing, like on the principal private secretary, why did it have to take three weeks? <laughs> Please, Bamush, make a crash course for YouTube to click on like Pachkumo to support TV Bakwet. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, Gladys, so we'll, we'll come back tomorrow. Thank you. Aim, mweva nandi, mweva nandi. Nicho fie, njeverenchi tepo fiaka fast, fast. 
because you don't say it to a So you join me tomorrow, please. Eh? Not at not at move which fukush at the chapwa. Wangana. No. Yeah, people voted for change. Why is this giving in? <laughs> it's crazy. I think the president is doing some great work in the background and the people will be shocked when the results start showing. Um, <laughs> I don't know whether that answers the concerns that I've raised. This idea of claiming that somehow something is being done in the background sounds very good, right? Sounds good. Yeah. But you don't leave your political organization cracked in, in so doing. Have you, have you heard about Sydney's? You don't leave the political organization cracked. You both you do both. Because Zambians are quite impatient. You know? You, you don't leave it vulnerable. Uh, I agree with you, but you should release all the rules so that we can study them. Yale <laughs> uh, is a bit patient. Are you uh, happy? Yes. That personnel has been appointed? Yes. Uh, it's better late than never. It has taken too long, but uh, that's far much better than the alternative. Yeah. Uh, Chama, well, I've noticed that you have been making fun of for commenting on what the new don is doing. Since uh, your comments meant to suggest that he shouldn't speak out against the new government, he should. And in fact, he started early. My only concern with Mr. Tembo is that he's a tribalist. He's using uh, terminologies that can be regarded as as tribalism and slurs. You don't do that. But holding the new don government accountable is very important because even the president himself has said it that you are the fish eagles that are looking at us. Very important. <laughs> Rule number five. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I guess the president had your grievances, Vamunsha. Um, I don't know because sometimes if you've been to fish tick Coincidentally, um, I don't think it had anything to do with my rant yesterday. But if our rants help steer the ship in the right direction, then I'm okay with that. Okay? Um, as president, you need to manage both the nation and your party. Always. And there's always going to be uh, you know, sometimes very, you know, you know, always. So, so you need to do both. So you can't just say, Narikuwa taba ntu musikri taba lenu sapota. Ewo nara chita nani. Elo imomwe bali visible in UPND. Um, be patient. No. The problem is when you face political trouble, and political trouble is coming, you're going to rely right back on these guys. You know? And when political trouble comes, political trouble has the potential to reverse all these nice, nice pronouncements you've done as government. Here is the, the thing. All these nice pronouncements from the UPND government, they are just one political crisis away from being reversed. If you learn that the UPND cadres are not collecting in markets, just one little political thing, it can be reversed. You need to get that. If, for example, the UPND, uh, there is a by-election somewhere and the UPND loses, let's say it's in its stronghold, that can have such an effect of peeling, completely peeling out all these things that, uh, that we are saying. Because then political reality sets in to say, Amaka does. There is a there's trouble here. That's why we are saying balance both. Inendepanda kofiyamano. 
if it was a job at Munshari for a hench, then you can get a tondolo. Tari tondolo musuma. Can you get a nanda very thick? So I'm going to get a tondolo. Now it's in a position we know. But that is not my goal. My goal is for the people. Oku mulondo luela. Mwewe na chuwe mpala. Na uvutantiko. Na tantika. Ukwebati. Umo chalo la nifi. Uvu wafia budini yapa. If, 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 if you chidi nifi. Ngatu wachite ifi kuti chawa mapo. End to end. So imu mwewe wakwete. Because, because just last year. Mwewe mwari mpela na ama position. Mwusho di ifi. Fie nu ifi. Ine. Mwari mpela kale position na pena chuwe mpala. Na pena zambia. Uba landi lako, epela, ukuba londo ruwe na ifile chitika. That is my primary position. <laughs> Linda Banks is in Afghanistan. I don't even know what you are doing there. Legal and political advisors, I think they'll be, they'll be there soon, right? Um, yeah. Legal advice are very important and because right now the government has no attorney general. Three weeks in, three weeks in, we have no attorney general. That's serious. Now, what do God means? It could be the same thing. Ichi <laughs> kariwa. Pansaka, musumba wa wadi. Hmm? Mwango, alandi la tichi ikarika. It's the same thing. Ichi ikarirua, nangu ichi ikarika. Pansaka, musumba wa wadi. No, but this that means, vamo na titapadi uwadi, mpanshi bala ikala. Oku teke mbwa, mano. <laughs> You see you, Utuma nani wa chita see you, Ego teka, Anso watu chita see you, Padia pene fie ule pokele da, The, 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 Shad, Wa chita see you, See you, See you, See you, See you, See you, Wa siri inga, Wa isarako, Wa shinkako, So, So, Ego, Imo ba UPND, Ku chita shani, Wa shinkako, Apa wa shinka, napa wa shinka, napa wa shinka. Eno namba waya mugu teka. <laughs> Notu wa shina afishi nkuka. Uwebele yu nde teka. Ha? <laughs> Bradford Marshall is a miss. Um, Bradford Marjula is a miss. Um, no, I think he has the confidence of the president as principal private secretary. Yeah, because the president should be afforded leeway in choosing particularly his personal officers, you know, like a principal private secretary. Yeah, I think, I think, I think this is a good choice. Bradford played a huge role and he continues to, so this should be a good choice. At, your, at why? Because you was MMD. Ah. <laughs> Ngaba Lungu. It wasn't Lungu UPND. Ngaba Wina. Ngaba Wina. That's why I didn't UPND. So, um, party affiliation has nothing to do with it. He's a great lawyer, Bradford Magila, former minister, tremendous experience. He has the confidence of the president to be in his personal office. And, and Bradford Magela, due to his extensive governmental uh, uh, influence, he's, he's stepping down, right? Because he was a government minister, but now you become a principal private secretary. That's, yeah. But he knows the inner workings of government, and I think he'll be a good asset. Yeah. Otherwise, um, Otherwise, thank you very much for joining me today. We've got to go. Tomorrow we'll be back with the entire team. Right? So see you. Huh? Vamunsha, the new Dawn president wants to appoint people visible with no good. It's not easy to be appointed. Okay. 
Um, that's not true. Steve, Steve Munangandu, that's not true. <laughs> no. Okay? That's, that's, not, that's not a legit uh, excuse. Saying that I'm appointing people on merit does not mean that then those people appointed are actually on merit. Anybody can say anything that they want. Okay? So, so, so uh, what's wrong with the merits of the people, of the lieutenants that sacrificed? What's the merits of the cadres, PF cadres that are still in government? This is quite insulting to UPND supporters. You don't realize that. When you exclude UPND supporters on the basis of merit, you are actually insulting them. When you are telling UPND food soldiers, qualified and educated, that they can't serve in government because of merit, it's an insult. Plain and simple. <laughs> Where are you going to find merit? Merit is from sacrifice. That's where merit is. So, so to those that are defending the UPND, um, do not give in to this, please. <laughs> do not let merit, the word merit, be equal to hatred for UPND operatives. You are making a huge mistake. Merit air votere. The 2.8 million people, numerate, <laughs> oh, the reason why Ndebalandi Lako, okay? These people who sacrifice, Ndebalandi Lako, that's what I'm doing. I, I, should, I should never ever hear this, this again. Let's not threaten quite have any power to do anything. <laughs> Eh? You never hear that. No, no. Um, I think it's a huge mistake for for apology. Uh, 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 like I like I like the president. He's a great gentleman. We've prayed together. Um, I think I think he'll do just fine. But we need to hold language and the use of language very very appropriately, and do not insult UPND people who sacrificed when they begin making Otuma indications to talk about they are ready to serve our people. The president is going to appoint on merit. If you have been a Brian Mwinga and the watchdog guys in Shibeshi, but more you have to marry Mwinga. But it's the sacrifice. It's called merit. Now, what is so wrong with saying you were not a pera kwaka? Wangu wangu no mwamu pero muntu within three weeks. Mwashinka. But to punda mwashinka po. So that I'm a, I'm a, um, uh, uh, criticism. Yam bo fumina kumbi. Gare mwa shinka van to ben mwa shinka shinka. So that only I've been a shown tembo ever tampa. And, and when John Tembo begins talking, now van to van, baby, how am I? Like a few, like a few, like a few, whatever. Not Sean Tembo. I join with some people that were the close lieutenants of your party. It's not everybody. I'm not saying everybody. Then that ba mova 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 ba key. Eh? I'm not So you excuse your merit is nonsense. I'm sorry. <laughs> UPND has a lot of merit. Have you interacted with UPND cadres? UPND supporters so amano yeka yeka koko fulonganya. Anyway, mufi on danda di mo atamu ba amano e. But kuwa amano mula ba amano le lo kusha kuata amano te te asange mu amano mufi on danda. So kada ole asange mu amano mufi on deranda ni shi te ine yo niwe. 
<laughs> this is serious. Eh? It is too cocky. Sorry, I'm very humble. I shouldn't be saying that. Mm. Merit is just an important as trustworthiness, for example. Do you people even know Cornelius Mueta's background when you complain that he should have been in cabinet in a different capacity? Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know um, what you're talking about. Trustworthiness? These are trustworthy people. Would you, <laughs> would you accept... Um, I think I think my primary preoccupation right now is to come on TV Vakwet. That's my primary preoccupation. That's it. I fear the party will be neglected in the name of merit. When you begin defining merit outside the political party, that is a problem. Define it within. That that would be very important. Mwasinka Shinka. Uh -huh. Yeah, so those are those are the questions, right? If you are saying that now suddenly you're going to turn to turn to merit, here is a question. So no me you say fifteen years uh katana wuba me kata uh nish tapadi merit. Okay, please send us stars, okay? TV are going to survive those stars, please send send us stars. This is lunch hour here in Hungary or better. But send us stars. For those that are on YouTube, send us gifts, something, you know, stars. How do you send stars? You just press on your phones. Mutu miyama stars, mutu miyama stars. If I don't talk about stars, you don't send them. If I talk about stars, you send them. So very, very uh, grateful for most of you that send stars. And there will be a day when I'm going to dedicate it outrightly to you star senders. Mnaakula mulumbu la mashina. Jebele abaniba Kelvin kafuimbi. Amasters. Abaniba Maria Kez. Amasters. Abaniba Kanto. Amasters. Wonze fi mweba tuba amasters. And members of TV Bakwet. So let's do something big together. You know? Be, even subscribe to be a monthly supporter of TV Bakwet. So that we can together do something big. It's not just about me. This is not just about me. It's about several other layers. It's a grassroots TV. Let's do it because, as the president said, there is the fish ego watching. Why can't this be the... the, the we have got that long history. No, but two months. <laughs> We've been here for a very long time. Okay? Oga, Oga Dasi, yes, you are a great star sender. Thank you, Oga. You know, keep it up. <laughs> you are our partner. Mm? And so we are very, very, very grateful to you. Keep it up. Okay, but let us make this something good. Beauty says that the merit system is the process and hiring government based on their ability to perform a job rather than on their political connections. <laughs> Uh, but you shouldn't say that because they are politically connected, therefore they are not qualified. That's where the issue is, right? Um, uh, yeah. But if you are going to appoint people that were never involved in the revolution and justify it, you are going to suffer a political price, unfortunately. Because you are leading a political... Zambia is a political nation. Zambia is not like a bureaucracy. It's a, it's a political nation. So politics determine. The problem is if you ignore the politics now, you, uh, you stand the chance of, in fact, making the situation worse when the political heat comes. That's why you say government that is a government of data-driven data, either Coca-Cola face, you to evaluate and everything else. When the heat comes, all that gets thrown in the window and you become worse than what you expected to be. That's why what we are saying is balance it up now. Begin balancing it up now when you, when you are there, immediately. When you begin emphasizing some of these things before the political heat comes, the political heat comes, cadres take over the markets. Just one little issue and cadres will come back. Nipanotudi.
So that's why you, 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 you deal with it at the same time. You balance it together. You affirm the, the party. You affirm the cadres. You control them now. Otherwise, a little thing can bring them back. Because after what I said to us, Uncle Quivati, if your idealism is running a company, if you have to take a child, much alone, a van to Vadi Fulungana. Company to our baby, chain of command, Yafmo, where I saw in politics, it doesn't work like that. If you don't have your pen, the driver will be able to watch that depend upon you. Ah, you are a driver. <laughs> Something that might not happen in the corporate world. So, number, it would make more sense to wait. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you and God bless our country. We'll see you tomorrow with the rest of the team.